The purpose of this wireframe is to replicate the ion content in the ionic framework. We will use the our own bespoke application to create the wireframes. We open the demo project from the ionic documentation website and open the provided HTML file. This example has an ion content with headings and a paragraph. We then start our bespoke ionic 7 wireframe application. This application has been built from the ground up using B4X and transpiled to JavaScript. The application is split into three sections, these are navigation on the left, view area in the middle and on the right, the properties area. Let's create the ion content component, we go to pages and then select content. This will activate the properties of the component for us to change them. As this is the first component on the layout, we will set the parent component to none. We want this to be displayed on the device preview, so we also check that. We can also change the color of the component, by choosing a color from the provided list. We want this component to have ion padding and ion page classes added to it, so we check these properties on the settings. The toolbar provides a way to save, clone and delete any component we have added. After updating the settings, we save the component. Now let's add the headings and paragraph. To do that we go to topography and choose the heading we want. We ensure that the parent component is the ion content component we created before, and then change the text to be heading 1. We will then continue adding the rest of the headings like this one. All the components created will be added to the device preview so that we can see how our wireframe looks like. To add components, we can clone an existing component, or just use the navigation menu. For now let's use the navigation menu.
Oops, for our paragraph, we have an app glitch, let's fix that. For our last component, the paragraph, we set lorem ipsum and wrap content to true. We want out paragraph text to be a lorem ipsum text and it should be wrapped. For child components, the parent device property should always be false and only true for the main parent component. We then refresh our wireframe to see the final result. As you have noted, we have managed to recreate the demo ion content demo page using our wireframe app. Let us now view the wireframe on different devices. To view the wireframe on different devices, we go to devices and choose the device we want. Thank you for reaching the end of this reel.